Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy glorious Sunday. We thank God for waiting in the do for our life. You know, it's Sunday and at a time for reflection and to also go worship God Almighty, who is the Alpha and the Omega, the creator of heaven and the earth. How was your night? I believe God said your night did very, very okay. And your children, from my own end, God help us. Everything they go where according to God's plan. Quickly this morning, to make a quick drop this message as God drop on for my heart. Standing by your husband, Apostle Dr. John C. Suleiman, wife in view, Lizzie. Now, uh, a lot of things that happen around Apostle Dr. John C. Suleiman, the, the, the general of herself, Omega Fire Ministry, Auchi. And with all the saga. With all the Facebook or internet or social media war, where them don't launch against Apostle Dr. Johnson Suleiman, the wife, Lizzie Johnson, stand with the husband. Just a few days ago, they come up with another saga of, uh, well, I don't know whether Alima, whatever name they call him, Alima, Bubaka, whatever name they call him. But the woman still choose to stand by the husband. Mm. If pastor's wife actually they stand by their husband, with their husband, come rain, come sun, come shine, it will be very difficult for the enemy to creep into the ministry and to capture the man. The Bible says that marriage is for better for worse. The worst time not the time when it be said you go begin to hear different rumor, different lies, different negative things about your wife or your husband. But you must cultivate the character and the attitude to contain, to say, ah, this thing make my honor to stand with my husband. Even if they catch on with another woman, my duty not to call my husband enter house. Oh God, this thing not work oh. If every wife go begin to take their place. The Bible said, and God said, it is not good for a man to be alone. And he sent forth to him and help me. The woman is to help the man to go through various challenges that the man is going through. No matter the challenges, the role of the woman now to support the man, help me. So which means Lizzie Johnson Suleiman stand by the husband to help the man. Despite all the negative narrative, all the bullets thrown at the husband, the wife stand to say, no, no matter this bullet, I will stay with my husband. Hmm. How many Christian wives actually stay with their husband like this? Hmm. How many pastor wives go actually feel stand with their husband like this? Yes, they did. There are still some pastor wives where they stand with their husband, but their name not their social media, but they did. How many Christian wives can actually stand with their husband? Like the way Lizzie Johnson they stand with the husband. Hmm. Food for thought. Food for thought. How many husbands go first stand with their wife when negative bullets they come? Hmm. Food for thought. But it is very disheartening and painful. So for every challenge in marriage. The next thing we will begin a publisher for internet. We publish for internet. We go on social media to disgrace the man or to disgrace the woman. Thinking we are helping them or know that we are not to us that we are destroying them. Social media not they forget anything. Anything where you drop for internet go dead there forever. The way Lizzie Johnson stand with the husband and other pastor's wife, 
They stay with their husband like this. Guy, ministry go this sweet. No matter what you hear, stand with the husband. Fight with the husband secretly. Quarry. But when they come outside, mm -mm, it defended the husband. That is exactly what God is doing to us. The Bible says, if any sick among you, let him call upon the elders of the church. Sickness, not just be malaria, fever, or typhoid. It's talking about mental sickness, emotional sickness. So when you call on the elders of the church, what will the elders do? The elders of the church now to pray and restore the sick person back. So which means the role of the church Christians, the role of Christians now to stand to pray for the fallen pastor, member, or the wife. To pray, to ensure, say, they restore them back on their feet. But what do we do? Let us kill. It is only the church that killed a wounded captain. Each time one captain they receive bullet, what do we do? We are supposed to carry the, the, the captain to a emergency uh, unit, made a quick perform operation to resuscitate the, uh, uh, the the captain. But what do we do as Christian? We go carry stone, we go carry clay hammer, we go carry knife, we go carry dagger to take Okumaki the captain. The knife, the stone, the, everything they carry, not be the physical knife, but the words of our mouth. We'll begin to talk things we will not supposed to talk against the falling captain. Your are will call it difficult for the captain to rise. The captain we're supposed to rush to the emergency unit so that he can be attended to. What do we do? We will carry a knife. You can how we slander the captain. Ah, uh -huh, don't meet her. God, don't punish the captain. No wonder I have been doing this secretly. God has finally exposed him. But remember what the Bible says if any sick among you, let him call on the elders of the church to do what they will pray and lay hands on him. <laughs> so, the role of Christian is to pray. And lay hands on the falling captain. Lay hands on the falling brother and sister. Restoring them back to the fold. But what do we do? We scandalize. Let us kill him, progressive union. He must not rise. But remember, God does not know of any sin he cannot forgive. What did I say? God does not know of any sin he cannot forgive. And there is nothing like a bad project in God's hand. Each time we scandalize a wounded captain, the captain will not, will not go feel rise. He not go feel move. You know why? We don't bring him down. So that is the reason why I go really appreciate Dr. Lizzie Joseph Suleiman when she takes stand with the husband against all odds, against all the negative narrative, against all the media war, the woman still stand. Wow, wow, Christian wife, take a clue from that woman, mommy Mary. God bless you, mommy. Good morning, my God bless you, my brother Kennedy. God bless you. I shall offer now. God bless you, my son. God bless you. Now, good morning. Good morning. Dr. Lizzie Joseph Suleiman stand with the wife, stand with the husband. Even when different media world they come out, oh, he slept with this woman. Oh, this one was here, he slept with me. But the woman she stand. How many Christians can actually stay with their man when several allegations keep coming? Hmm. Can you stand with your man? Or can you stand with your wife? I remember one video when it be say, one man catch a, a wife, they sleep with another man. The next thing I bring for come out. A video the wife finished, she put her for internet. What happened? The woman commit suicide. 
Now the man, now he kill the woman. Now the man, now he kill the woman. Why not cover the nakedness of the woman? Why not cover the nakedness of the woman? Why not cover the nakedness of the man? Christian women go and learn wisdom from Dr. Lizzie Joseph Suleiman. Go and learn wisdom from her. Go and learn wisdom from her. Go and, go and learn wisdom from her. Go and learn wisdom. How many Christian women go feel take the bullet? How many? How many can actually take the bullet? Oh, you catch your husband sleep with a man, a woman. The next thing you carry a phone, you record your husband or you record your wife. No, now you, you are a disgrace. You just disgrace yourself. Now, after uploading the video, you put them on internet and the people, the whole world come, blogger can't carry them. They're going to make money through monetization from YouTube, from uh, Facebook, from TikTok, from uh, Instagram. They're going to make money from Twitter. They're going to make money. You have, you have succeeded in destroying your life. You have succeeded in destroying a woman. You have succeeded in destroying the life of your children because that video will be on internet. Even if you delete the video, people don't download and keep for you because internet, no, they forget. The other day, Alima Abu Bakr come out. Oh, few years ago, I said Suleiman, blah blah blah. He was my boyfriend, blah blah blah. And some people believe that that trash. So many Christians that are supposed to be Christians, they begin to blow and they go, yeah, Suleiman too much. If God, the Bible said, if the Lord will judge iniquity, who will stand? Even you, if God open your fire for public, shame will let you come out for your house. <laughs> Remember when that woman was caught in the act of adultery? Everybody carries to command. Crucify her. Crucify her. According to law, any woman that commit adultery should be she should be stoned to death. And Jesus just the look. He not talk anything. Now he write for grant. If you know, say you never commit any sin, cast the first stone. Which happened? All of the begin to drop that stone. Ba ba ba. So which means in one way or the other, they are also guilty. They are so guilty. You were there very quick in publishing news about somebody when he fall. Are you also free from sin? If God opened your file for Facebook today, you sure say you don't go drink sniper. Yes? If God opened your file for Facebook today, hmm? you sure say you know, go drink snapper. And we must begin to open up our eyes. And it's very shameful and disappointing to see suppose Christians. Suppose Christians. Who are supposed to guide and protect a wounded captain. What do we do? Let us crucify the captain. Let's kill the captain. When Jesus asked them, if you know you have no sin in you, cast the first stone. What happened? All of them dropped their stone. You, when they said to the man, I saw it be. If God opened your profile today for social media, <laughs> you sure say you don't go to sniper. <laughs> you sure? That secret sin, when they never catch you. That lie, when you talk, when they never catch you. That girl will go sleep with will not be your wife. Will not be your husband. That boss where you cheat on for office. When you come office by eight, you go right ten and you go right seven. If God open your file for social media, you sure say you don't go drink sniper. Are you sure? Are you sure? In all this. Lizzie, Dr. Lizzie Joseph Suleiman said, ah, I am not ready to let go of my husband. What a wife. What a wife. 
What a wife. He said, no. I will not let go of my husband. I will cover the nakedness of my husband. I will protect my husband. Remember David said, he said, publish it not in, in Gab. Let the street of the and let the daughter of, of uh, Askelom rejoice. Each time we did very quick in publishing or speaking evil against supposed Christians where we think they commit sin. Now with the righteous pass. What do you do? You open up the system for mockery. David said, publish it not in God. Least the daughters of Philistine rejoice. Let me tell you, each time, each time you publish, each time you judge, each time you speak against, what happened? You open room for the unbeliever, the people we call unbeliever. You open room for them to begin to see your lapses, see your loopholes, and take advantage. Wow. Remember the Bible said, if God will judge iniquity, who will stand? If God will judge iniquity, who will stand? You that is becoming so righteous, if God decides to open your profile, will you stand? Ah, what a shame! For to some of us, we are trying to say, oh, we are correcting it, we are correcting it. You are not correcting it, but rather, you are creating more problems for your both for yourself. Let me go back to the Bible again. The Bible says, pray. The time we are supposed to pray, what do we do? We take delight in scandalizing. Each time we pray for a fallen brother, we boost the morale of that person to rise. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> ah, man. Hmm. Let me tell you. Some people might say, Apostle, you are trying to encourage people. No. Study your Bible very well. If God will judge iniquity, who will stand? Like somebody just committed. He said, We are covering evil. Bros, are you free from sin? Are you free from sin? Have you not seen before? Have you not scammed people before? Because they never catch you. <laughs> because they never catch you. Oh, now they catch nice poor. Who they never catch in a saint? If God begin to expose a lot of things, so many Christians will never stand to say anything. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Apostle Paul said, that which I hate, I see myself doing it. What are those things Apostle Paul actually hate? Some sin, some character that I suppose he hates. See, I see myself doing it. The Bible says, for as long we are in this world, we will face persecution. We will go through trials and temptation. Even Jesus, our mentor, was tempted. But we must understand. Some people say, oh, they submit to grace. But their life is even worse than Boko Haram. Some people say, oh, I am most righteous. But their attitude is worse than Boko Haram.
Some people say, oh, this person is evil. But some of the things you do is even worse than the unknown gunman. There are levels. There are levels. There are levels. Only by grace can we stand. Only by grace. The Bible says, for all have seen and fuck short of the glory for all, not from all. The Bible says, wherefore, let he that ticket his stand, take it, least he fall. <laughs> glory, 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 glory. I love Jesus. Let me repeat again. The Bible says, wherefore, let he who ticket his stand, Take it, list you for you that is thinking that you are standing. He said, Be careful. <laughs> say, you that is thinking that you are more righteous, that you are more holy. He said, Be careful. He said, Be careful. <laughs> list you for. List you for. <laughs> Wow, as I talk now, there are over righteous brother like brother like Peter, Peter Audio, who happened to be my son name. He is more righteous than every one of us here. <laughs> like my brother uh, Peter Audio is the most righteous person in Nigeria today. Every every one of us has seen her. <laughs> The Bible says, Wherefore, <laughs> let he who ticket his stand take it, list it for <laughs> you that is thinking that you are standing, that you are more holy, that you are more righteous, that you want to serve God. He says, It is serving well, be careful, watch, list you for because Satan the adversary will tempt you. But Jesus Christ said. For my grace is sufficient for thee. For my grace is sufficient for thee. Mm. So, Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman, God bless you. God bless you. For standing by your husband. Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman, God bless you for standing with your husband. Against all odds. Wow. So which means, if every one of us begin to do the right thing, Christianity will be sweet. Christianity will be sweet. Christianity will be sweet. Yeah, Christianity will be sweet. Yeah. If we begin to practice this Christianity with true love, ah, Christianity will be sweet. But guess what? Hatred. I too know I am more spiritual. I am more holy. It's responsible for what we are going through today. Remember I said, it is only the church that killed a wounded captain. Each time a brother falls, what do you do? You pray for that brother. Each time a sister fall, what do you do? Pray for that sister. Raise her up. Raise him up. Encourage by 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 studying the word together. But what do we do? Oh, that brother have seen. Oh, ma'am. Hmm? Yeah, you have seen. Let me bring them. Oh, that brother just seen. That sister just seen. Oh, let crucify that brother. No, we should stop crucifying a fallen brother, a fallen sister. But our duty is to pray and correct in love. And to pray and correct in love. <laughs> the Bible says, For all have seen and fall short of the glory. All, not some. 
That's all. The Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. What is the mind? The mind of love. The mind of love. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. What is the mind that is in you? Is it a mind of hatred? Is it a mind of let us bring him down, let us bring her down? Is it a mind of I know more than every other person? Is it a mind of let us pull him down? Mm. Jesus, he said, let this mind be in you. Ah! Which was also in Christ Jesus. What is the mind? The mind of love. The mind of reconciliation. The mind of true brotherly love. We profess to be Christians, but our attitude is what I'm Boko Haram. No love amongst us. Have you seen where the Muslim, they come out, they carry their imam, they say, oh, their imam, they shall sleep with one woman, the next thing, they want to crucify the imam. No. No. Are you telling me, have you seen where they carry native doctors? Say, ah, native doctor, sleep with woman, let us disgrace. Yes, they are emulating us. Because we are the light. We are the light. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Wow. Wow. We should begin to learn to correct in love. Guess what? We are losing Christians every day because of I do know. Because I do know. Because I'm more spiritual. John 3.16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world, ah, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, the first thing, what happened? For God so love. If you love your brother, if you love your sister, when they go through persecution, you will not turn your back against them. Mm. We can actually correct ourselves in the in the, in our room. We can actually fight ourselves in our closet, but not coming on media. Oh, Apostle Alfred just sleep with twenty girls. Oh yeah, let's go after him. No. No. In the name of judging ourselves, can you carry your father, your mother to the world to say, My father Josie crucify my father? My mother just seen crucify my mother. Can you do that? Mm. In the name of judging and correcting, can you carry your own blood, brother? Because he commit one sin, you can carry him to the world. You say, oh, you the world. This is my brother that commits sin. Crucify him. Can you do that? Can you do that? If no, why should you be very quick to crucify a wounded Christian? The Bible says that if we say we have no sin in us, we lie and we make God a liar. What is my message this morning? My message this morning is that Wife, stand by your husband. Husband, stand by your wife. Mm. 
This is my message this morning. Wife, stand by your husband. Husband, stand by your wife. No matter what, protect. Protect your husband. Protect your wife. Protect your children. Protect your marriage. Protect your family. Hmm. 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 They publish it not in God. Wow. 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 Jesus. Hmm. Wow. 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 Second Samuel chapter one, verse twenty. Second Samuel chapter one, verse twenty. The Bible says, "Tell it not in God. Publish it not in the street of the Askelon. Lest the daughters of the Philistine rejoice. Lest the daughters of the uncircumcised triumph." Kai. Pa. Guys, go and read this Bible again. Second Samuel chapter 1, verse 20. Go and read this Bible. Go and read this Bible again. Hmm? Go and read this Bible again. <laughs> I want to be like Jesus in my life. I want to be like Jesus in my life. We all know in part, but the Lord knows in full. We all know in part, but the Lord knows in full. He who think he knows, know nothing. <laughs> hmm. Second Samuel chapter 1 verse 20. Tell it not in God. Publish it not in the street of the Askelon. Lest the daughters of the Philistine rejoice. Let me tell you the danger of what we are doing. Let me tell you the danger. Each time we publish anything concerning your brother, your sister, that you consider a sinner or a committed sin, you publish it in the world. You know what happened? The people rejoice. The unbeliever rejoice. They rejoice. They clap on. They say, sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there. They rejoice. Then least the daughter of the Philistine rejoice. Least the daughter of the circumcised triumph. Let me tell you. In the name of trying to judge or trying to say I want to correct this person publicly, do you know what you do? The enemy, the triumph. They rejoice over you. Some of us think we are helping God. No man can help God. Some of us think, say, we they help God. There is a standard. No man can help God. No man can help God. No man. No man can help God. No man can help God. Let me tell you. We are losing Christians every day why? because of our judgmental spirit. We are very quick to judge. <coughs> Excuse me. We are very quick to pass judgment. Because we feel that we are the, we are most holy, we are more qualified than every other person. No, 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 hmm. no. Let us begin to correct in love. Let me really appreciate Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman, Madam. God bless you for standing by your husband. Let all Christian women, let all men learn to stand by their husband and by their wife. 
Let everybody, husband, stand by your wife. Wife, stand by your husband. Hmm? Stand by your wife, stand by your husband. Each time you sell your family out in the name of correction, you know what? You have succeeded in blacklisting your entire family. Yeah. Yeah. Today, I have made up my mind to begin to capitalize on the strength of people, not their weakness. Because there's strength in every man, there's strength in every woman. Before the advent of social media, have there not been crisis in marriages? They said to them, you know, you're for what? You know, you're up. But in the era of social media, when I begin to see social media warrior pastor, social media counselor. <laughs> Wow. Wow. When we fail to pray for each other, remember there is no body that is above falling, but it takes the grace of God to protect. All we need is the grace of God. Pray for that brother. Pray for that sister. Pray for that brother. Pray for that sister. Restore them back. Restore them back. Pray for them. Restore them back. Let us pray for that for the for the salvation of their soul. Let us begin to pray for restoration. Let us begin to pray for a genuine revival. Let us begin to pray for a genuine revival. Hmm. God bless you, brother. Let us begin to pray for a genuine revival. Hmm. Let us begin to pray for a genuine revival. Hmm. Hmm. Let us begin to pray for a genuine revival. So, guys, let us continue to pray for a genuine revival. Revival that will revive the broken down of love. Revival that will restore the broken down of truth, of sanity, of righteousness, holiness. The revival that will make me to stand with my brother and with my sister. No matter what. Can you throw a baby with the dirty water away? No. After baiting the child, what happened? You carry the child out of the bowl. You throw away the dirty water. Why not say, oh, this child is so dirty. You can't carry the, the picky and the water. You throw the top of them away. No. You cannot throw away the baby and the dirty water. But what happened? You remove the dead the baby from the water and throw away the dirty water. That's exactly what God wants from every one of us. So, guys, my message this morning is very clear. Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman, thank you for standing by your husband. And I pray and I hope that other Christian women will also learn from you. That no matter what, they will stand. No matter what, they will stand. This is my message. God bless you. You that derive joy in publishing evil, continue. You that derive joy in publishing anything that happened to your brothers and sisters on the internet, continue. But remember, whatsoever a man sweat, same shall he reap. Whatsoever a man sweat, same Shireb. Wherefore, let he who take his stand take heed lest you fall. God bless you.